Greetings. My name's Joe Bob, and I am very peeved. Welcome back to Darkwood. Day nine. Right. Last time we did some preliminary exploring of the of, of the old woods. Went to that place that we found in a, that was once revealed to us in a dream, and then did some exploration of the hunting lodge. Although we had to cut that a bit short because time is not on my side. Also, we then got buggered by a bunch of savages who somehow hit us through the fucking wall! No, I will never let that go. That was bullshit. I should have survived that easily. But no, I got fucking bashed in the head through the wall. Nah. I didn't even know what the fuck he was doing over there. Whatever. Whatever. Alright, let's get prepared. Um, boy, we've got a lot of crap in here. I should move these over to the uh, saw. I still think it's a bit silly that there's no way to just, like, you know, temporarily take, a, uh, take down a barricade and then, like, reattach it, maybe with a couple of extra nails, you know, expending that. A bit of convenience? Oh, whatever. It's a small inconvenience in the grand scheme of things. The grand scheme of things isn't the only theme there is. Now is there? I've got everything I need to build this damn axe, but not to upgrade the fucking workshop. Ah, I need more wire anyways, even if I did have those. I need constantly need more wire, like Jesus Christ. Kinda of ridiculous. Ah whatever. I'll go to the hunters for us first and then swing around, maybe. Did I leave anything behind in the hunter's house? I'm not even certain, but there's this area that definitely has something in it. Surely. Looks too weird to not have something in it. Wait, that reminds me. There we go. I always back up. Uh, I want to have my saves. Huh? Where the fuck did this come from? I don't remember this corpse being there. Oh, I got some more wire. That's nice. This path is, like, not very well made. Oh, hi. You're not very well made. Easy there. I don't want to harm you. I'm just here to, f to get through. Just passing through. I mean you no harm. Alright. Ow! What? How the fuck did that happen? I was in a menu! Oh, what? I was literally using the map when that happened, that didn't make any sense. Ooh. My god, it's Smile Dog. Alright, some valuable stuff. And you I wanna hurt. Yeah, eat shit. Oh. Trophy of nothing. Mushrooms. Alright, this and the odd meat should allow me to, uh, to level up again. Alright. Everything's coming up me. Well, that was pretty pointless. Oh, crate. I have crate expectations for this one. Mushrooms and shells, nice. Ooh, I could probably make that, uh, armor now. Alright, let's swing up there and then get back quickly. We can use all this stuff. Oh. Is that another of those radios? Uh, what the fuck is that 
thing on the map. Looks like a spider. Oh, barn ruins. You're a barn ruin. What am I even walking on? It's hard to tell. Like, am I walking on the roof? Uh, on the roof or something, or in something, or it's hard to say exactly where I even am in relation to this. Maybe I can get inside from a different. Uh, hmm. Or wait, inside what? Anyways, or or. Yeah! Mm, took a lot of my durability though. Not as much as it used to. Because I could upgrade, but. Ah! The fuck? Okay, I'm getting out my lantern. Human remains, they look stuck. Oh, joy. Oh, hi, Wolfman! Don't mind me, just. Oh, doink. Hi there. Comrade. Comrade. This greeting sounds like an angry growl. Comrade. The wolf makes a quick leap and, bouncing against me with his swollen belly, he puts his paws on my shoulders. He ostentatiously licks his face. What a gift you have given me. I notice fresh blood stains on his fur and feel streaks of his saliva dripping onto my coat. He leans towards me, as if he wanted to say something to my ear. Uh... Okay then. The wolf squeezes my arms and starts licking my face. Once from the left side, once from the right side. Comrade meat. His breath stinks of rot. What would I ever do without you? You're not such a worthless piece of carcass as you look. Thanks to you, I feel... fulfilled. Good? I think? Ooh, a hunting rifle! Hell yeah! I got my girl, my sweet little lady back. I had to believe the same blood flows through the veins of that bitch who reeks of chickens. Suddenly the wolf sends me back with a powerful push and reaches into his coat pocket. Some object hits the floor. Here, no need to thank me. Now, since that part of the deal is behind us, I'll help you recover your stupid key. I will take you back to the doctor's house. I am sure you will find some clues on how to reach his current hideout while there. You two will have a little chat. You will get back what you've lost, and then nothing will keep you from getting the fuck out of my part of the woods. Do you get me meat? You will pack your bags, dive into that stinking hole of yours, and disappear. peer And? Are we going, comrade? You seem a bit bipolar. Well... <laughs> Well, actually, maybe you're trying. Uh, I was gonna say because like he seemed very happy with me, but then suddenly he wants me to get the fuck out of his part of the woods. Maybe he's trying to protect me. <laughs> Probably not. I think he just prefers to be alone. <laughs> Which fair enough. So he got his little girl back. Apparently, that's good. I'm mean, assuming it was his girl, uh, but I've got no, got no specific reason to doubt that. And, uh, the, uh, taxidermied corpse is a bit suspect, but, well, that might, uh, I've got no, uh, i got no reason to think that it was him that did it. Perhaps it was whoever owned this house before that, uh, did it, and maybe it was the same person that was ke keeping his daughter from him. In which case, I did a good thing. Yeah, probably. Do I- do I go here yet, though? I kinda wanna go- I kinda wanna go back first, do, level up, store my stuff, and, you know, get prepared, so... Not yet. Good. Remember, the woods are impatient. Alright, here's some... Is it key? Oh yeah, give it to me! Uh... Muttering under his breath, he attempts to open the box. After a while, the lid gently slides o uh, lids open, and the wolf peeks inside carefully, squinting his eyes. He looks at the contents in silence, then lifts his gaze at me. Is this a fucking joke? Are you some sort of fucking clown or something? Ah. Oh, shiny stone. Uh, house... 
some kids and some kind of animal. Oh, and a plane. <laughs> huh. Okay then. Oh, wait, there was a next. Damn it, I didn't notice that because my microphone was blocking it. Lilith takes out a few crumpled pieces, crumpled pieces of paper from the box and throws them in my face. As they fall to the ground, I also notice a shiny stone among them. Some fucking scribbles. I'm warning you, meat. Do not dare waste my time again. I didn't know it was going to be in there. Electronic game? What the fuck is this? Do you think this is funny? Are you mocking me? Do I look like a joke to you? No. <laughs> <laughs> You're a brave piece of meat, and with a more important, one with a sense of humor. Where did you find this? The wolf carefully studies the toy. An electronic game, eh? But a wolf stealing chicken eggs. <laughs> Good one. I've, I have a soft spot for games, how about you? I can give you something in exchange, meat. What would you say to a surprise, eh? A wise decision. Take this. Ooh, a pistol. Wait, I already have one now. Mm, well, I can sell it. And I can use whatever ammo it has on it, I guess. Wolf produces a gun for his pocket, throws it under my feet, and then turns the game on. Alright. Now then. Uh, uh, oh, very, basically nothing in it. Okay, how about I sell, uh, sell you this gun I just got from you? Uh, does he have anything that I care about? Weapon parts, maybe. I don't think so. Oddly enough, these are not used in chain traps. Funny old world, isn't it? Oh, small caliber magazine, I could go for that. Any, any other ammo? No? Maybe I should sell this to the other guy then. Eh, I'd have to hold on to it. But, yeah, maybe. Yeah. I'll trade to this toolbox for the ammo, though. There we go. Sadly, these only stack to two, so yeah. All right, it would be a t it would be a tad odd to immediately sell them the thing that he gave me back. That that was not uh, grammar, but all right. Next stuff. Why do they call it an of in when? Ow, fuck. All right, more odd meat. it out of my misery. Dead puppies. D -d 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 dead puppies. Dead puppies. Oh, my son. What is that in its stomach? Any lockpicks. Wow, there's a treasure trove of mushrooms around here. Metal, so, uh, but who am I? 
Will my weapon survive, though? I don't have another. Well, I've got the guns, but. Uh, if only I had a damn lockpick! He's not following me. Oh, for fuck's sake, where is it? Oh my god, of course it's a- There we go! Jesus Christ! Why does this not stack? Why does this not stack? Why does this not stack? I hate this so much. No. Hang on. That's my uh, ammo. Okay, I can reload this in order to fit another odd meat. Oh. Oh, I could have gotten through there instead of breaking down the door. Fuck. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake! There's so many areas they need a lockpick for and just like no fucking wire anywhere. That missed. That was like there were like two in. There was like no part of, almost no part of that that wasn't sending on it. I hate this so much. I'm going to waste ammo on these assholes. What? How the fuck are they getting through? What? What? There's clearly a gap somewhere here. Wait. Maybe here? No? No? What? Seriously? Oh, they're just fucking phasing right- They're just phasing through! What? Oh, of course. They're just straight up phasing through the fence. Fuck off! Wait a minute, I can get through the... How many fucking dogs are there? Still seeing they're barking. I feel like a hundred of them. Stop! Ah! Fuck off! Man, why the hell is dragging so much slower than just running into them? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, and there's lots of this. God damn it. How the fuck. Do how the fuck do I leave, though? I just have to go all the way back. God damn it. I'm to race back. Because they decided that fucking decay mechanics were a great idea. Even though I've never seen a survival game that had decay mechanics that uh, used them in a way that was any f that was at all fun. Gonna stop off some of this stuff. Help me to color ammo, ammo, fabric, shiny stone, shell. Well, make light armor from the shell. Um, I have some my uh, fucking that. Yeah, okay. So this, this and uh, now we cook.
All right. Appetite. Yeah, this is the other thing that's pretty useless. And cross my fingers, no weird dreams. God damn it. Uh. The fuck is this? Turn off the light. Okay. I guess, what is this, a life before all this crap happened, I guess? Two days in the queue to get it, what? Ah, that's annoying. Hell, look, money. Grabbing all this, but all right. I take flashlight. Hidden, hidden, spray can. Hey. Ooh, scissors and a pair. Huh? What do you want? What did he kill me? <laughs> I don't know. Well, that was, uh, nonsensical. Let's try that again. Hmm. Anything I'm missing? What about behind the wardrobe? No. Somewhere. Yay! Stars are falling from the sky. They twinkle first. And they fall straight into your paws. A teddy drop ear. Those are not, these are not stars. It's snow. What are you talking about? Okay then. Um. Ah, fuck. Okay, so it only ends when I look at him. Which is, I think, me in the future? Or, I don't know. Like, me in the past, meeting me in the future, very, like, metaphorical stuff, you know? Well, maybe you don't. Oh, yeah, I can pick up the... So I had to turn off the... Right. What are you talking about? Those are surely stars. I can see. I guess that's the end of that discussion. Okay. He's still there when this happens. I can't actually see. I can't see far enough. Maybe down. Maybe if I, uh... This. Yeah. Anything? Anything? Uh, getting dark. Ah, 
Aha. Ah, I didn't go through the door, damn it. Here we go. Aha! Something! Finally, after like 12, 12 resets. Thank goodness I have a, uh, like to back up my save frequently. Uh, whenever anything interesting happens. Oop. Oop, shiny stone. Can't pick it up though. I have room, yeah. Oh, uh, that's concerning. Petty Drop Earl. You shouldn't be here. Okay, then. What the fuck was that? Alrighty then! I didn't seem to get anything from that, but it was weird as fuck. I guess that justifies its existence. Alrighty then. So that certainly was a thing that happened. Alright, now let's repair this shovel and go... ...kick some ass. Or rather, let's go and, uh... To the bar, and so we can fucking man. This fucking it's the fucking thing that like makes you like you know makes you be able to run without using up durability for a bit. Really is in unimpactful. I mean, like t this lasts for like twenty seconds. There's so little. Alright, here it is. It, it saves- uh, it lasts for like 20 seconds and saves you like 10. Maybe. Probably more like 5. I mean, all of my skills have been really unimpactful now that I think about it. And the- the, uh, acid blood one has just straight up done nothing. Alright. Let's go to the doctor's house. Uh, yeah, that's what I just said. Hopefully time is paused here. Yep. Alright. We're in business. Fortunately we aren't we don't have a map. That's annoying. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh. Vast root. Like the ground has been cut away entirely to reveal a vast network of roots. How disturbing. What an incredibly well hidden bear trap. Great job. I bet. Metal buckles of the leather straps fastened to the bottom of the bed are twisted and broken. Oh, that's comforting. It means something has probably escaped from them. There is a doctor. There. That's what I want to know. Daddy went out and left. 
angry and hungry he was. I'm hungry too. This is where he turns into a monster, isn't it? Can't move. Head is exploding. If I move, I'll burst myself. He looks like one of those people that's gonna like turn into one of those chompers. I should kill him now. Nothing else will put him out of his misery. Ooh, RCG! Is that to the uh, locked door over there, maybe? Is the doctor the one creating the chompers? Or is he experimenting on them? All right, there we go. Oh, hi. Corpse. Oh, an axe! And an old odd stone, what? Right. All right, that. Well, now I feel really dumb for buying that, uh, for buying that axe head. Oh wait, no, I could probably use it to increase the axe's durability. Just like with the shovel, so. It'll at least have some utility, and probably a lot sooner than it would have otherwise, so yeah. Alright, axe. Body spray. Um, I want to use it though. Yeah, let's go for it. Get that too. Hang on. Yeah, about the same windup, but... lot less, uh, fall, uh, lot quicker to attack once it, once you swing. Left hand has been bitten off together with the arm. Huh. Concerning. I saw that lantern, or did I? Yeah, I saw it. Ooh, crate. Got crate expectations for this. Ah. I can, oh, I can just straight up eat the ice. Okay. I'll take some of it, I guess. Doesn't look like anything there. Okay. I know him. You do? Well, new. What the fuck is that strange lot? Ooh, it's safe. Pills, nice. Alcohol, bottles, mineral battery, gasoline, all good stuff. What is that on the floor, though? What are these strange lines? They flock with a code. Huh. Well, obviously I gotta ch I gotta check. No. Uh, was there a code in the uh, intro? I think maybe. Oh, hi. Oh, I see. Four, nine. Oh, wait, there's a number. Uh, is that six or eight? I think that's eight. Okay, so eight. Then four, then, uh, wait, oh, gotta move this, I see. Uh, five and nine. Okay, eight, four, five, nine, or some permutation of that. Eight, that was one way. Four, five, 
Nine. Got it. Oh. All right then. Toy code six six seven eight. Go to the cart door. The what door? And a map of a train. Interesting. Wait, did that time go by? Hang on. No, it was seven two point six already, wasn't it? Ow, fuck. Ah, crap. I really need rope to forward 125p. What does that mean? I don't think I need rope. Oh, definitely don't need nails, so. Hmm. Alright, journal. I should actually re I should really actually read through this journal at some point. I need to do Not that many, actually. Uh, well, 20 to read. That's quite a few, actually. Well, no, actually, only 10. Into the, these damned savages, everything should go smoothly. I don't remember anything since the attack on our camp. Somehow I'm wearing a coat, so I must have changed my clothes on, the, on my way here. I don't recognize myself anymore. I can barely hold this pencil. Has my body changed? I no longer feel hunger or thirst. What has happened to me? I remember his face. The face of the man who saved me, then held me captive. I don't know how I managed to escape his hut and end up here. But I do know is that the insane fucker took my key. My only chance to get out of the woods. He was all tore out all the pages from my journal. I thought he was able to learn the secret of the underground passage though. Should check if the door is still locked just to be sure. I must find him. I don't think he still lives in the same place where he held me. It makes no difference as I have no idea how to get back to that vile place. Day one. Nights. I need to get back to my hideout before nightfall. Wandering here at night is too risky. The Ford exhibits increased activity after dark. Only the protective gas in my hideout can provide me with relative safety. The armored door in the underground passage is closed. It hasn't been opened in around two weeks. The thief who took my key apparently does not know how to find the passage. Good. I, on the other hand, have no idea where to find the thief. Not so good. Day two. The wolf. I must, my, must be going. my mind must be going. If I'm not delusional, the man whom I met had the head of a wolf. He told me he will help me get the key back. I just need to get through to the other side of the forest. I need to meet him in the northeastern part of the silent forest. I should explore the surroundings before venturing forth. I do not wish to act too hastily. This hideout is in the eastern part of Dry Meadow. The wolf's offer. The wolf has asked me to bring him the key to the locked room in the house of the hag that reeks of chickens. In exchange for this favor, it will help me retrieve my key. Key for a key. Seems quite fair. I shall find the hag in the village in the southern edge of the silent forest. The shadows. It was a rotten, strange night. Shadowy silhouettes emerged from the corner of my hideout. I thought my eyes were playing tricks on me in the dark, but I'm certain I've seen something. If they come back, I shall keep close to the light. I haven't really had to... Eh, well. Day 4. Chicken Lady's Brother. The old lady who lives with chickens told me that the plastic chick belonged to her brother, who went missing a few days ago. She gave me a photo of the person she saw him last with. It's a local doctor. I recognize the fucker. Strange boy. I met a boy in the village. He told me that the chicken lady keeps the pretty lady locked in her house. The boy really wants to see her, but the old woman won't allow it. Probably for good reason, given what I saw in that room. He asked me to find the key to her room. He will wait for me in this hideout with the, in the green silo, in the so southeastern part of the silent forest. The boy revealed to me that I will find a spare key to the locked room in the chicken lady's house inside the village well. It sounds absurd, but it's the only lead I have. Local doctor's photo. The boy with the violin recognized the local doctor on the photo given to me by the chicken lady. He claims he's a good man. He was supposedly helping the villagers. He helped me too, and then he snatched my fucking key. He thought, I decided to give the key to the chicken room, the chicken lady's room to the wolf. He agreed, as he... Uh, he told me that I will find the doctor. Uh, as agreed, he told me that I will find the doctor in the eastern part of the old woods. Unfortunately, the doctor doesn't let anyone in. I only need to find a way to make a to make an appointment. Chicken head. The wolf gave me a dismembered chicken head. 
He told me to give it to Chicken Lady as a thank you for the wonderful sister. I don't know what he means by that, but it can't be good. The wolf didn't want to talk to me anymore. He grunted that he had something urgent to take care of and rushed off. If this wolf brain thinks that he will get rid of me so easily, then he's mistaken. He mentioned he'll be staying in the northeastern part of the old woods. This is where I will find my companion. Chicken Lady is desperate. Her sister is missing. She pleaded me to help her. her. Maybe I'll manage to find a lead. Piotrek. Now I've heard everything. I met a boy named Piotrek. He told me he's building a rocket, but he's missing some parts. From what I understand, he's constructing a rocket from the parts of a broken tractor. It's absurd, but I think I may help him. Turn to the doctor's house. The wolf told me he could take me to the doctor's house, which seems to be the room, the place where that fucker kept me and stole my key. Supposedly, I'll find a clue there on how to get to his current hideout. Maybe I'll learn what precisely went down that night. To this day, I have no idea how I managed to escape. Doctor's house. I've explored the doctor's house. It's a complete ruin. Now that I, kn now I know that what seemed like a n like nightly terrors is very real. I still don't know how I escaped this place. I suspect someone must have carried me out. Found some code in the doctor's house. I don't know what it's for, but I hope it opens the door to his current hideout. Okay, either this... Hey. Either this journal has a lot of extra pages, or this is going to be a long fucking game. Yeah, I think these are just extra pages. This is absurd. Oh no, now I'm going to have to flip all the way back. Damn it. I hoped it would reset when I closed it. This is a mistake. Okay, there we go. Ha! Fucking hand. Huge empty cages. I searched them and they don't have anything in them. Because, that, because that's what, what empty means. Can I get this way? Nada. Okay. Look at all the wells around here being destroyed, anyways. Odd. Well, I guess we can go this way then. Same path that he took. The trees block the way ahead. Whoa. Trees really are growing fast. That used to be a clear way. Not too long ago. Oh, that interesting jaunt. But yeah, now we know where he's, where he went next after this. To the, to some train or something. And we have a code, which maybe, it would probably go to the train? Or something like that. Now how do we get out of here? Is the wolf? Right here. Oh, okay, it was just as simple as going far enough. Whoa. That far away. Hi, what? What do you mean it's nine? Is that? Wait, what day is it? Yeah, last save. 16 seconds, okay. Hang on. Let me check something on the main menu. Oh, it's still day nine. Did go back to the start? What? Did it get reset back to the start of day nine? I'm confused. Well, if so, that's good for me. That's a bunch of extra time to do stuff. Gonna be an extra long video though today. <laughs> I'm sure you won't mind, whoever you are, if anyone is even watching this part. Okay, but got a lot of random garbage. Might wanna 
Yeah, head back over to the hideout first. Where is the... Oh, the train wreck is, is that way. Okay, good. Ah, the... ah here we go. Cook. Yeah, one thing. I don't know what this ice is for, aside from eating. That might be it, actually. Okay, ha, ah, crap, I don't have any room for anything. Um, nah, wait. Up some of this stuff off. Oh, that reminds me, I should also upgrade this. If I can, yes. Yeah, sturdy blade for greatly increased weapon durability. Booyah. And less stamina or more damage. Or even less durability. Uh, I think uh, sharpen should be good. Well. And, ah, don't have enough for, to repair it. Oh well, it's still mostly fine. Uh, should keep the battery to re replenish that. And the rifle just in case. Drop. I don't really care about this shovel anymore. Well, it's good for extra, uh, you know, for fair durability and all that. Get rid of the ice, and one of these odd stones. I'll keep the other one j uh, just in case. Okay. Got a feeling that. Well, I should. Sh hang on. Oh. Oh, okay. I was just checking. Apparently these odd stones used to be useful. But the stuff that they were used to make is no longer in the game. So yeah, they're completely useless aside from their monetary value. Alright, good to know. Time to go. All right, now I'm properly armed and dangerous. Now, yeah. let's go kick that doctor's ass and take back our fucking key. So he's there and I don't have to fucking chase him around the entire goddamn world. Mm. Here we go. Ooh, mushrooms. You know what? I'll leave those for now. How the... Yeah, how do I get in? Ah, here we go. Shit, what was the code? Uh, where did I? Here we go, code. Six, six, seven, eight. What are you doing here? Don't come near me! Get back here, you ass hat! Give me one good reason why I shouldn't fucking stab the shit out of you right this second. 
Uh. Oh, I get it. I get it. The doctor is lying against Trinko's wall. His face is covered in sweat. An intense odor of alcohol hangs in the air. It's coming close. You rotten dog. I won't give you the key. Can't you understand? I saved your life. You'd run right away in that clearing if it wasn't for me. You owe me for fuck's sake. Yeah, I owe you an axe to the face. The doctor moves closer to the wall, grotesquely kicking his legs against the floor. I think I don't know who you are, rat. I managed to get a good look at you. Your kind visits us whenever you please. You hide behind the trees, watch us from a distance, and then disappear. You have no idea how it is to live here. Well, I certainly do now. This place, these woods, everything is fucked up here. I won't take it anymore, do you understand? I won't bear the look of those deformed, reeking bodies anymore, or the cries of those wretched villagers. First they begged for help, now I need to hide from them. I'm just an ordinary doctor! How the fuck was I supposed to help them? How? I don't fucking know. Doctor goes silent, his face now hugging the wall of the train car looks truly pathetic. Can you hear it? The walls, they speak to me. My little girl is calling me. Now she's waiting for me. I must come back to her. She's so close. The voice breaks down. I want to go back home. That's all I want to do either. I can see panic in his eyes. Please, this key is my only chance. Help me escape this place. Help me or kill me. Alright. Fine. I'll be the bigger man here, unlike you. I take out the map and show the doctor the location of the abandoned house with the hidden underground entrance. Don't make me regret it. The doctor stares at the map for a long while, without lifting his gaze to meet mine. Thank you. He removes his dirty glasses with a trembling hand and freezes. I will wait for you there, and better take the essential things with you. Looks like returning here will be impossible. Alrighty then. Ooh, alcohol. Torn photo. That must be one of those things where they, like, have the photo in half and each one gets the image of the other or something like that. Or maybe you just pour in a half because of some other reason, I don't know. Ah, I should have I should have taken those mushrooms earlier. Who can? Eh, whatever. Hope it won't matter. This Boom! Oh, that is satisfying as fuck. Okay, that's not a trap for us. Good. I don't care about that match. Where the fuck is that coming from? Okay. Grab everything that we care about. That we can carry. About? Oh, hi. Is this enough to- I thought it was enough to- shot him. Oh, fuck! No, but it's enough to two-shot him, which is satisfying as- Ow. Ah, oh, fuck. There we go. Wasn't entirely smooth, but it was a lot smoother than I normally get. Oh, another one. Lovely. Yeah. It's definitely the same day. Okay. So. Oh. We're getting out of here. Today. The city doesn't know what's coming. She doesn't feel the heat. The city won't know what hit her, what knocked her out into the streets. 
The city thinking that it's over, that she's already fast asleep. So I'm breaking out of here tonight. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. Given only what we need, only the chance to survive. And even then, it's a coin toss, a roll of the dice. There's gotta be something better, somewhere that feels more alive. So I'm breaking out of here tonight. I'm breaking out of here. You gotta feel it, girl. Feel the wind pick up. Feels like something's gotta change. But there's no use putting it in drive if all the wheels are stuck. There's something wrong here. Like this whole city wants to scream, but no one makes a sound. So I'm gonna find out what it is, and I'm gonna tear it down. The engine's running, baby. We don't have time for goodbye. I know you can't come with me. I see that look in your eyes. So kiss me fast, cause there's no time to lose. Leave the light on, I'll come back for you. When everything is said and done, I swear I'm gonna make it right. I'm breaking out of here tonight. Breaking out of here tonight. I am so tired of giving up. I am so tired of giving in. You wake up knowing things should change, not knowing where to begin. The city won't say where she's going, she won't speak of where she's been. So I'm breaking out of here tonight. Break out. Ooh, don't turn your back on the city. Sometimes I just want to drive until the streets run out. I want to burn until there's nothing left to burn about. City's waiting for a better day. When I get back, there will be hell to pay. If I'm the only one left standing, I will not be afraid to fight. No, I'm breaking out of here tonight. <sighs> and remember, the bad singing will continue until my demands are met. What else to type that? Players? Players? Are, well, that's 300 bucks worth of value. Yeah, I'm taking the players. I don't know what... I'm still not sure what they're useful for, but sh they're useful for something. Surely. They aren't. And don't call me Shirley. Oh, I can get rid of the nails as well. In the same vein as the... Uh, boards. I'm sure I can get more of, that, of those. Uh, what to take then, though? Not the metal. I barely have any of that. Not the same with the tape. Shiny stone, maybe? Uh, watch. That's valuable. God, I'm using up so much time going through all this. Uh, with these wedding rings stacked. Yeah, I'll take the watch. It's the most valuable thing I have left. Okay, I think this is... About as good as it gets. I don't. I doubt, I'll, I doubt I'll actually like desperately need any of the stuff that I have, as I would easily, you know, prevent soft lock issues or what have you. I could. Pull, uh, I'm sure there's some way to survive even if I took literally nothing, and this is, as far as I can tell, gives me the best chance. Hopefully, I did. I haven't actually checked out that area yet. Hopefully, there is actually a good sort of door to before type deal there. Hmm, of course. Ah, I don't have room for any of this stuff. I'll take this though. Ah. Uh. Earned house. Oh. I don't have room for these mushrooms, damn it. Right. Another oh, tractor. Can't get anything from it though. Hi. Ooh, key to the burned house, nice. Liquor magazine. 
bi-weekly magazine for youth. This issue is 1975. So is that when this all went down? Or somewhere around then? Ah, here we go. Yep, definitely a door to the floor. Style thing. Um, can I make Molotov on me? No, I can't, damn it. Okay. Now where's that? Here we go, underground entrance. Broken tree, why should I care? I guess it's a landmark. Hi. Oh. That reset? That's interesting. So is this a different day or is it the same? It's really weird. Ah, uh, where is it? Where is it? Here we go. Yeah, I know. Uh, was it any here? Wait a minute. Oh, I should have got ditched this almost dead lantern. I'm an idiot. Ah, no time for that now. something here that I could dig with a shovel if I had a shovel. I don't know. In time for it now, it'll probably won't give me anything good. Ah, I should have used this up and then... Well, no sense... Uh, drilling on what I should have done. Good enough. It'll have to be. Here we go. Finally back to this door. After all this time. Door 21. Alright. Let's look through the keyhole first. Nothing? Alright. Doctor, you can do the honors. We're getting the fuck out of here. Are this stuff? Honestly, yeah, this is probably more valuable than this almost dead lantern. Goose slowly sees the giant root. It floats on the hallway, though, guided by some unseen force. Well, that's pleasant. Hi. It stumbled upon something amongst the rubble. A strange, soft item. What the fuck? The tunnel has collapsed recently. The reinforced steel protruding from the debris has not been covered with rust yet. When I gaze into the tunnel, I notice a silhouette of a man on the ground. Suddenly the man snaps to life, as if woken from a deep slumber. Who... who goes there? I hear a faint, unnaturally distorted male voice. Are you... are you one of them? One of what? The man attempts to get up, but fails. I can see him desperately flailing his limbs around, as if his back has been glued to the ground. Oh, please. As I approach him, he shuffles his legs nervously, as if trying to retreat into the class tunnel. I didn't do anything. I beg you. I just wanted to pass, to get back to my family. The tree is blocked the only way out, the only path home. A huge, talking tree. I begged it to let me pass, but it wouldn't listen. I could not understand what it was saying to me, so we came here. The man props himself up on his elbows. 
With, an, he, with a huge effort, he tries to straighten his body, but something is firmly holding him by the back and the neck. I can't... I can't get up! The man drops onto the rubble and goes silent. He clenches his fists. My head... hurts. The man places his hand on his forehead and feels a strange dent above his left brow. He freezes. What, what is this? He carefully inserts his index finger into the hole. His eyelid twitches. My stone. I hear a sound as if an eggshell cracking. The forehead bends under his hand. The stranger pushes another finger into the hole. A thick goo spews from the wound. I can hear his skull cracking. My little stone. The man slowly removes his fingers from the hole in his head. A colorless ooze dripping from them. He's holding onto something. A round object. That's why. He swings his left hand and throws the object at me. A small, irregular ball bounces off my arm and lands at my feet. Looks like a bullet, but it's soft. This... this is what puts me to sleep. His head lifelessly drops into the concrete floor of the destroyed tunnel and goes to hell. Suddenly I can hear the bang of the metal door, followed by the sound of fading footsteps. It's the doctor. be screwing me. And the big door on the sign reads closed area. Really just... huh? Oh, another torch. Rusty iron cowbell. Huh. Mushrooms. Is there anything? Hang on. Think quality. No, damn it. I was hoping to turn the gamma up. This is just getting annoying. Uh, he just froze for a second. What the fuck is that? Just wanted to pass. Jesus fucking Christ. Some strange organic growths. Burn this whole place to the ground. With shiny stone. Shiny stone tied to a wooden cross. Oh. We saw the skin and bones covered in roots. They're surprisingly well preserved. There's a small hole in his forehead. He's been lying here for more than two years. Two years, huh? Are they shooting people who try to get out? Or are they specifically shooting the people that. Like, and did they get infested by the trees before or after they been, they were shot? Are they quarantining? Or are they killing anyone who tries to get out? Because there's a difference. Despite what some games will tell you. Chapter 2. Yeah, it wouldn't be that easy to get out, now would it? Now we're in the swamp. In yet another item. Damage compressor used to refill oxygen tank. What? Oxygen? What the fuck is gonna be going on in this? Hi. Granite black shot, I won't go to...
the light burning away that what the fuck I'm not so certain about it being organic, but... Alright. More flares, gasoline. Gas bottle. Different type of gas. Alright. Alrighty then. Day 9 is lasting for a long fucking time. Oh, that's pleasant, having those in my damn hideout. How lovely. Clear testing. No one needs it for a long time, but it still smells of warm plastic and burned white. Alright. Oh joy. Okay, how long is this damn video been going on? Jesus Christ, oh, well over an hour. Bloody hell. Huh. Oh, no, then. Oh, uh, and everything. Yeah, where's the damn workbench? Here we go. Ah. Now we can finally drop off all this crap. That's a load off my mind. Not to mention my back. Alright. This. This. A knife. That was outdated. It must have been prepared over two years ago. The woods have changed considerably since then. Moreover, it's so ragged it's barely readable. However, I can think out the, think out the position of a cottage near the junkyard in a village with that tree. Uh, wow. So is the lock on the trap door. Okay. Day one. The compressor is broken. So is the lock on the trap door leading to the underground. Had to use a blowtorch. Fucking moisture. Day two, 1200 hours. We took. something five. 65 photos of the tree from the observation in the vicinity of 3C. It grew twice its size in a month, really quickly, even for the local standards. Day two, 1520 hours. I'm slowly running out of oxygen. I've sent two men to search the nearby junkyard. Maybe we won't have to go back for spare parts for the compressor. Watch out for the cottage in the junkyard. Mark building on the map. Someone could be living there. Day 2. 18-12 hours. At least 10 locals looking between the trees. How do they know about us? We won't be able to gather our equipment in time. The risk of getting detected is too high. Need to evac. Alrighty then. What was that added to the journal? Oh, now it resets. Okay. I managed to walk a few good kilometers through the underground tunnels, but further passage is blocked by growing roots. Despite this, I feel that I'm closer to my destination. The way home. While in the underground passage, I met a peculiar man. He acted strangely, bl blabbering about a talking tree which emerged on a path to some house in the village. I need to investigate it. The doctor has escaped. So be it. He would only be a hindrance anyway. I'm not so certain about that. It's not like we have to worry about eating. And he could help, certainly help gathering supplies. And I could give um, if I gave him his shovel, we could be uh, the real bash bros if he's, if we catch my drift. Let's see, the swamp. I've finally gotten out of the tunnels. The hatch sealed itself but shut behind me. I am now at the swamp in an abandoned hideout. Alrighty then. I'm not certain my situation has improved per se, but we've certainly gotten interesting. I just go here to save. And yeah, let's end the video here, since it's gotten quite long already. There's a village, there's a tree, there's the cottage off the map, apparently. But, whatever. So, we've finally gotten into chapter two, at last. I don't know how many chapters there are. Maybe there's only two, maybe there's three, maybe there's twelve, for all I know. <laughs> But we definitely made some nice progress, but we, although we had to ditch quite a lot of stuff in the process. Alas. I'd have taken the bike belt with me, but I'm fairly certain that he's not going to get his way through the underground tunnels and everything, especially with the hatch 
and everything sealing shut behind me. Not to mention, we would, would need to go kilometers. You probably need a lot of alcohol to pay for that. But I will. I got the I got all of the most valuable stuff out at the very least. Uh, and yeah, the time has once again reset. Am I still in day nine though? I need to check that. Yep. Still day nine. So next episode will be day nine part two. My goodness, this is a long fucking day. But yeah, we made it. We made some progress. Um, to getting out of this fucking, well, out of this dark wood. <laughs> we let the doctor live. Hopefully that won't come back to bite us in the ass. Until then, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And remember, dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave a nasty comment in the comment section down below. So long, suckers.